just for precaution, I'll make a motion to call to order um, public hearing notice uh, for members of select board. Get a second. Second. Okay. So, all right. Welcome, 5.40 p.m. Um, Veronique, I've never done one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in the same yeah. position. None I of have never have. done this before. So, so, but as well to show as the tree warden. So. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. You're joining us, by the way. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> true. That is true. <laughs> um, well, um, as I said, I've never done this before. This is a hearing, and I think that's probably what we're going to want to do. Listen. And uh, uh, we... Uh, we have Marilyn here, your trees. Uh, what's the latest? What are you thinking? <laughs> well, the, sh the one sugar maple, she is unfortunately dead. Um, and we would like to take, I would love for her to stay, but I feel like she's a risk for our home. And so um, we would like to take that tree down, have the tree taken down. Um, and there's a second maple on the other side of the driveway. I think we're still a little undecided about that tree, but um, you know, when I, I, I feel like the, the canopy, I, I feel like I'm seeing signs that she's not doing so well either. Um, I mean, she's, she still has leaves, but I feel like she's thinning. And so since Walter suggested that since we were having a hearing, that we should go ahead and ask about both trees so that we, if we decide to go ahead with the second one, we hopefully have permission to do so. And I don't think that um, with that permission, there's a time limit. I think that if you want to see how that tree does for a few years, yeah. I think the permission would still hold and you could do what you want when you want. Okay. So you would like permission to take down both trees, is that right? Yes. Well, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> so just these are trees on your property. Well, or they're, they're on they're town on the town. They're on the town. They they are within the town right of way. Okay. All right. So exactly. it was, I was told by Walter that because of that we need permission. Okay. I mean, yeah. You know, they're right up against the road. Uh, and I relay this because um, town council has recently looked at the procedures right. that govern trees. And um, this is our first time <laughs> with this uh, sort of request. Um, so, uh, I think it's fairly simple. Um, does anyone think it's more complicated? Anyone have other thoughts? <laughs> I read through quite a bit of other town bylaws on the shade tree, how they handle the shade tree law, the Massachusetts shade tree law. And uh, the vast majority of them, it comes down to the tree warden. Um, stating whether they feel uh, it is necessary to bring the tree down for various reasons, whether safety, um, hazardous condition, trees dead, diseased. Um, well, this tree is definitely dead. Yeah, so I think it's a pretty open and shut case on that. I agree. So that means that the Town highway is well, is responsible for taking down the tree and disposing of the. That's what I want to know. I, yeah, I want to know who's <laughs> responsible for yeah, it who's because doing it work. is in town right away, which means it's a town tree. Comes back to the same thing of the liability of the town. If the landowner takes it down, it's not their tree. They shouldn't be taken. That's my. What I see the law reading, but I'm, I'm not the person. I think the Board of Selectmen is, it's on you to decide whether it's a risk the town should take 
by letting the landowner take trees down or I think another thing we need to discuss is the condition that's left afterwards, right? Because that was another thing that was in a bunch of the bylaws and it states nothing in the actual state law. And this is so open since we don't have any any law to go off of. So we have no bylaw. I mean, there is no bylaw. And the other towns have bylaws. Exactly. So and a lot of the other towns say you just don't leave a stump there. You know, you have to go is all the way. Is that relevant to this case? I you don't have a bylaw. No. So no. I don't yeah. think so as long as the property chapter. owner is aware of as long as there's, I think that we define as long as there's consensus between the two parties. So the ones you've read, you cannot leave a stump at the. the Again, these are dapped. No, I'm just yeah. curious. Yeah. So you have to have the whole. Yeah. The stump dug up. Not only dug up, but replant. In not in place. Conway, but at not the moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking like uh, I think that's Amherst. Okay. We're operating just, under the state yeah. law, chapter yeah. 87, and uh, there, that does not stipulate the. It's only for the removal of the tree itself, not the. Right. But I think Chris is thinking that Conway probably needs a bylaw. Eventually. But not for right this. for the purposes yeah. of so I mean I'm I'm just trying to understand so you want to take down this tree and you are going to pay for the tree well that is you know we would love to not pay for the tree right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know but I, but I'm, so you know so that's one of the questions you know yeah, that's if, my if question need too. be yes we you know but we would we would like not to <laughs> so you feel like you can't take down the tree without us giving uh, yes permission. I was I was okay. Walter. I already gave her permission. Okay, and then we threw it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so I because screwed of up. The, yeah. um, according to the it, recent interpretation uh, given to us by um, town council. Yeah. That whoever I, I can't. I need permission regardless of who pays for it. Yeah. Pays for it. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, we're just giving permission for the tree to be taken down. There's and actually two and, trees. Right, and then yeah. preliminary permission for the other tree at a later date. You need That's it. what you, right, it's, yeah. yeah. It's funny, my, my child often ends our con phone conversations by saying, what have you done lately to smash the patriarchy, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> So were you about to smash it? No, <laughs> this feels like a step in the opposite direction. Um, I mean, I think it's easy based on Walter's recommendation to allow the trees to be cut down. I think the next question would be to council about who is in charge of the payment. We, 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 we've been through this with council already. Yeah, um, that's town tree, town. Okay. I think that's, I mean, let's put it this way. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the town is more than welcome to have a resident pay for it if they choose to. Yeah, there's but in no terms prohibition of, on that. In terms of whose responsibility? If, if it's a town right it, away, it's yeah. the town's responsibility. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And the, a right of way is different than a deed in fee simple, too. It's sort of, it's like it's, it's, it's her land, it's their land. Um, but it's also the town's right of way land. So, it, but they can they can cut their own tree with our permission, and also we can cut their tree with our permission. <laughs> it's basically how that works. Uh, Are you well, allowed to cut our tree without our permission? No, that would be unneighborly. What I'm just I'm yes. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, so, well, there would be I'm not, have to be a, a hearing. Yes, okay. it, it would have yeah. to be a yeah. The tree would have an opportunity to get a pardon, okay. just like these trees. Well, that depends. There's, there's yeah. several parts of that tree, tree law that the tree warden has authority mm -hmm. to have a tree removed without a hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Under there's certain conditions. Six conditions. Four conditions. Yeah. Four conditions. Four relevant ones. Is that generally but the this seems like a very.
a straightforward situation. You want the tree removed. It's a safety issue for the town. Right? Yes. The, the tree warden has declared that it's a safety issue for the town. And that's the factor that we're talking about. Yes. And that property owners are happy with the tree being removed. Well, I'm very sad about the tree. Right, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not right, like, right. <laughs> Except Let me that just say I that. I am, I am not happy that the tree needs to come down, but yes. <laughs> I have made yeah. on my property, but... Yeah. Yeah. I feel so. your pain. Um, so, the, so this t is there a timing issue about how when the town could attend to that tree, or is um, when I posed that question, I was told a reasonable time frame. <clears throat> um. In theory, could the resident do it on her own, their own, with in a quicker time frame if they were so inclined? I don't or, believe there's a problem with that. Okay. Then I think it might be Ron's call to as as to whether his crew wants to do it, whether he wants to get hired out. This is a challenge, this church. I don't have budget for tree removal. It's plain and simple. I don't yeah. have the equipment. I don't have it's yeah. a huge expense. For us to hire, or, you know, rent the equipment that we need. We've already been through this with a lot of the tree stuff, and I, I just need help from the support to guide me while they want where they want me to spend my time. Where are power lines in relation to the two trees? Um, They're one not threatened. So you think of Eversource? Working on this. Yeah, I'm just thinking like. Well, one tree is <laughs> is next to the power line that comes across the road just to our house. Mm -hmm. It's near that line. The other one, you know, she's on the opposite side of the road mm -hmm. from the line. Well, I guess yeah, there's no hope that Eversource can be. Did you yeah. contact the Eversource about the threat to your power line? No, I've started with this. It would be in your best interest to contact Eversource to have them. Things are a lot easier when they remove a tree. Um, it doesn't cost the town anything when they remove a tree. And if it's a threat to their power lines, they're usually more than willing. So if your service line to your house is a threat that if the tree falls on that and will pull the, other, the main power line down, I have not looked at it from that standpoint, Ron. I just, yeah. I know it's, I'm just yeah. saying, at this point, the first thing I would do is call Eversource. Eversource removed one of my trees. I'm further down. I have property yeah. further down from you. Um, and within a week. It was a much smaller tree. Yeah, yeah. But is it the dead one or the live the, one? No, the one that's still living is the one that's more of a th is, threat. Is closer to the power lines. Right. It's, it's I mean, a, I think if the dead one were to topple, you know, it would definitely hit, um, you know, whether a single branch at this, I mean, y you never know, right? I but it's... Never sourced. No, I haven't, we, since, since you and I have talked, we have not oh, contacted okay. Eversource. For a long time. Yeah. Well, Ron, that's absolutely right. That should be the... Yeah. First, of course, that's yeah. the first thing to do. But either way, all we're we're just being asked to basically. Well, we don't even have to like take a vote, right? This is just a public hearing. We don't have to make a decision. Well, no, we do. Well, it's. It, I think it's really more if it's a uh, contested, right? Otherwise, yeah, so, the tree warden. Tree so, warden so the question is, are, are it, can the trees be taken down? And it seems like everyone is in consensus. Yes, the trees can be taken down. My only question is, how do we convey that approval? Do I write a letter? Do you guys um, write a letter? Um, do we have a document of some sort? Some sort of. This is our first tree here. I know. <laughs> I do they need <laughs> written approval? Cannot the fact that it's this is on. Yeah, this record? is this, this is, is on recording. Record. I I think it wouldn't be a bad idea for us to just 
develop a, a statement that says, you know, that's a good idea. at the public yeah. hearing, you know, a, the tree warden requested, approval was given, and, you know. Okay. I think we could. We can take a vote in favor of yeah. allowing the trees to be taken down, however they're taken down, and whoever pays for it, right? Because right. that's not what we're talking and, and, about right now. Yeah, and I mean, I, my understanding, and again, this is our first one, is that it's, the select board really comes in if it's a contested. Right. Um, right. So this seems pretty straightforward. So, yeah. Never hurts to vote, though. I know. Everyone <laughs> is sad that the trees will come down, but also in agreement that it's okay if they do. So, but in, in terms of, okay, so we now, as I understand it, we have permission to, permission has been granted for these trees to come down, correct? Correct. But now we're supposed to contact Eversource, and what happens if Eversource says no? I'm just giving you an avenue that they may do it for free. Yeah, <laughs> Eversource may pay for it. <laughs> but then do I report to Walter that Eversource, what, if they're not going to come do it, I report to Walter and then... No. Wal Walter will inform the board, and then the board will have to decide where the money's coming from to take it. No, not if I'm it's not being done. Yeah. Is that is that correct? Is that well? This is fly by the seat of our pants. Here. Okay. So well, then that does sound as if it makes sense, and it it uh, coincides with uh, what um, Veronique would like to do, where we could have a continuance of this meeting because. This hearing, though I don't think it was necessary, this hearing was not posted 48 hours ago on the bullet board. So, um, but it has been posted for two weeks on the trees. Well, that's, <laughs> and, 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 that's what I think. And, yeah, we've been recorded twice. Yeah, uh, you know, we did that all legally. Okay. I, I did have a question. But I think we'll, you we'll, would like to dot all the yeah. I's, cross the T's. Mm -hmm. So we could use a week or two to get the information, um, though it's not relevant for my um, duty to know who takes the tree down. That's, I think, between okay. you and Ron or the select board. I don't feel that I have any say over that. Um, so we could continue this. Do you meet every week or two weeks? Every week until after town meeting. Well, why don't we just go a week, see what they say, if that's good sure. for you guys. Sure. I'm just proposing this. I have nothing to do with it. In the meantime, I will give you written permission okay. to remove or prove whatever you like on those two trees. Okay. Are we supposed to get approval to prune as well? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the lines, tree yeah. warden has full authority okay. to prune Okay, all right. Tree. Okay. Don't need a hearing for pruning a tree, but... Okay, but we're supposed to check with you first. Any okay. town tree. Okay. okay, all right. Um, and a town tree is a tree that's like on the town so, right away. So even if it's in my yard or on my property, if it's within a certain... If it's on the... If, if it's even public on roadway. the... Half on the... In the town right away or on right. your okay. property, it's still a town tree. You have no rights to it. Yeah. Okay. Except when I want to prune. But sometimes there are right. town exactly. trees. But if I want to prune, right? If it's hanging over your property. Right. But okay. then sometimes they are town trees, like those three crab apples on the Masonic Lodge Commons that Walter pruned last year or the year before, and now they're flowering like they've never flowered before. They're just gorgeous this year. So well done. It's, it's good to know. Yeah. And since there are, if Eversource does this, since there are currently no bylaws, if, if we may leave a stump, we don't have to, I, I just feel if like. There's, if there's no bylaws, then, then there's no permission okay. to be given or whatever, but I don't know whatever the state law is. I mean, I, 
I would admit. Yeah, I didn't have yeah. time. No, yeah. no, I just wanted to. Um, I like those chainsaw carvings where you can make a seat out of it or a swing out of it or something else. Or, 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 or a free library. Yeah, there so you go. when I called, I, they did have to reconnect me elsewhere, but this is the starting number okay. for Western Massachusetts. Okay, thanks, because I think. Thank you. I think I always end up with Eastern Massachusetts yeah. or something. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have a question. For future tree hearings, will that be posted on the Conway Town website? Yes. And there is a tree warden department now. That, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So we may be excused? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, right. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So I'd say we adjourn this hearing. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Walter.